Hi, this is Aryan and you are watching The Cool Mentor. So in this video, we will discuss about the basic architecture of Angular 2 application. So as of now, we have set up an Angular project. Now it's a right time to understand the architecture of Angular 2. So Angular 2 is a quite different from Angular 1. It is component based and the controllers and scope has gone. Also syntax and structure have been changed as compared to Angular 1. So if you want to learn the Angular 2 versus Angular 1, then please watch my previous video tutorial. So now let's start with Angular 2 architecture. So there are basically eight building blocks of module, components, template, metadata, data binding, directives, service, and dependency injection. Now module. So module is the block of code which perform a single task. Angular module are modular and it has its own modularity system that is called ng module and every angular app has at least one ng module classes that is called the root module or app modules but there can be more than one modules and uh, we will discuss about the module in great detail as we progress through the courses and uh, next one is component so the component is simply a class with template and uh, that deals with the view and uh, it contains the core logic for the page so we write the application logic in the component class which is then used by the view and we can say that it's simply a controller in angular 1.x next one is template so the view of the component is defined through template in other word we can say that template is a form of html that tells angular how to render the component and uh, template is like uh, html except for a few differences next one is metadata so metadata tells angular how a class should be processed on the screen and uh, we define metadata using decorator and uh, while defining any component we need to tell angular that uh, this is the component by using metadata of the class using at component decorator in this way now next one is data binding data binding is the breeze between view and uh, business logic of the application so there are four ways of defining the data binding uh, like according to the direction of the DOM second one is from the DOM third one is in both direction so uh, first one is interpolation it's like uh, it display the component value within the HTML tags which is also called expression in angular 1.x second one is property binding in property binding it passed the value of property from parent to the property of the child next one is event binding so event binding fires the event when we click on the component method names and uh, the last one is two-way binding so it is an important form that combined event and property binding in a single notation by using ng model directive 
now the sixth one is directive directive tells us to add behavior to the dom element so to create directive we have to apply at directive on attached metadata to the class so we can attach multiple directive to the dom element and there are three types of directive and uh, which i will discuss in more detail next one is service so service is used to share the data and the behavior across the application and the service is a broad category as we all know that and uh, so in simple word we can say that service is a class containing any function features with a defined and a specific purpose and the last one is dependency injection so it is a software pattern we can say that design pattern in which objects are passed as dependencies so by this uh, we can make dependencies more configurable and we can make uh, components more reusable maintainable and testable so in this way we have learned the eight main building blocks of angular application and i will discuss all the building blocks in great detail as we progresses through the courses and in the next video i will share the angular project architectures and uh, we'll start project from a scratch along with in depth discussion on each and every a small or big topics bye